Hey guys, my name is Vicky Njuguna and today we're doing a purple look I kind of created. I posted it on my Instagram. If you haven't followed, yeah, my Instagram is on the description box and let's get into the video. This is the purple eyeshadow look that I posted. I did my eyebrows before as you have seen um so yeah and i also cleaned out the concealer that i used to clean out my eyebrows so what i'm gonna do is put some white eyeshadow on where i prepped my eyelid with concealer the white eyeshadow is just to make the colors pop and to have more pigment so that's what i'm gonna do gonna use cell tape this just to bring out the wing because we're going to do a wing eye kind of look and also it will be easier to clean out the eyeshadow while it has spilled out so yeah I'd highly recommend you to use cell tape because it's actually way way easier to use it So now you're gonna pick out the shades of purple that you're going to use. I'm going to use three shades of purple. Yeah, I'm going to use three shades. There's two darker ones and there's one light one. So first of all, we're gonna take the slightly darker one and put it on your eyelid in the shape we're going to do. It's a wing shape, so that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna go in round circles go in in round circles and make sure you bring out the shape that you want for me i wanted the wing i look so that's the shape i went for Sure you go in nicely because you want the purple look to be quite outstanding and have a pop of color if you get what i'm saying so make sure you go in several times until you're satisfied with the outcome darker purple shade just to make it pop yeah that's the best way i can describe it um because of course you can see like that purple is not really dark as you want it to be so we have to make it darker so we're going to go in with that darker shade and make sure you go around in round circles and make sure it actually looks pigmented nicely yeah
cut out the crease and we're going to use a very light concealer just to maintain um, the look itself and also when you use a lighter concealer it brings out the pigment so I'm gonna cut out the crease yeah and also make sure your crease is actually straight or let's I don't know what shape to call it but make sure you're very precise with how you cut your crease because you don't want it to look kind of messy so yeah you're gonna be very slow very slow and sure so you have to have a lot of patience while you're doing this so just go one step at a time you don't have to rush out and yeah just make sure it it actually looks nice then you can add some more purple if you feel as if it's not really clear enough you can add more purple just to make it darker and make it more beautiful outstanding so please make sure you use a white eyeshadow to to make it look beautiful if I can put it in a very nice way so yeah that's what you're gonna do there So now we're gonna pick a lighter shade of purple. Um, this is just to do with the look because the look was purple tinted, if I can put it that way. So yeah, we're going to use a flat brush for that so that we can make the eyeshadow sit in one place. So we're gonna tap the lighter purple, just slowly but sure. I, I said you have to have a lot of patience, a lot of patience when you're doing this. So yeah, just be be sure with what you're doing and be careful.
following the crease that I cut. Wah, well, yeah, I'm following the shape that I made with the cut crease, so that's why I've sensitized on being very careful while you're doing that because you don't want the color to spill out. It is just meant to be a very nice clean, a very nice clean cut crease. Wow, yes. <laughs> So you're done with both of your eyeshadows you can now remove the cell tip and you just look at how beautiful that came out i mean <laughs> so that was the purpose of the cell tip because you see it just brings out the shape naturally so after that you can just do that and if you really need to use concealer to clean it out then you can do so as i'm doing there yeah i was just cleaning out the excess purple that was covering my eyebrow so yeah and i was also bringing out the sorry the wing i was bringing out the wing yeah the purple look we had to do purple lips of course so it's just a short procedure I just used my brown IP and I topped it off with purple like sorry with purple lipstick so yeah basically that's it <laughs> This is it for the look and it looks nice and yeah I will see you next time and oh I forget I used magnetic lashes for this so if you want um, to see a tutorial on how you're gonna do magnetic lashes magnetic lashes yeah you can leave a comment down below and see you next time bye